There are three parts to leadership. First, the leader establishes the direction. Second, he aligns the people in that direction. Third, he or she motivates and inspires them to move in that direction and to keep moving in order to fulfill the vision. Let's now work on the second part of leadership, alignment. If we're going to help the people move, then they must be aligned with the direction. Here are three examples of people in an organization. In each case, the leader has a direction and the people have their own direction. In which of these three examples are the people aligned? Well, of course, the answer is obvious. In the first circle, the leader is moving in one direction, but the people are all following their own directions. In the second circle, the people are in unity together, but they're not aligned with the leader. And the third circle shows a true alignment between the leader and the people. Alignment means three things. The people understand the vision, the people own the vision, and the people trust the leader. Understand, own, and trust. Please remember these three things. When all three are strong, then the people are aligned. Any time that you ask people to move to a new place, that movement, that change, always involves risk and loss. Always. You have to recognize this as a leader. You see the vision, the opportunity, the benefits, the potential, but the people you're leading may not. It's quite possible that all they see is the loss of what they know and are comfortable with, and a huge degree of risk associated with heading off into the unknown new world that you're pointing them toward. This is why you must work hard at helping them come into alignment so that they're willing to face the loss of what they have now and to embrace the risk and the possible pain of moving into the future. The people must be aligned. Look at Jesus' words in Luke 14. For which of you, you wanna build a tower, but first you sit down and you count the cost, whether you have enough to complete it. Before you start to build, make sure you can finish. Before you start moving, make sure the people are aligned. First, the people you're leading must understand the vision so they know where to move, so they know it's here that you're talking about, not there or there. Without clarity, the people may end up fully aligned, but not in the right direction. Second, the people you're leading must personally own the vision, so they're willing to move. If they're just doing something to serve you, they may give it a small commitment. But if they truly own the vision, then they will work hard. Third, the people you're leading must trust you as their leader so they're willing to embrace the sacrifice and the costs and the risks of movement and follow you into the future. Notice that the first two characteristics of alignment relate to the vision. The people must understand and own the vision. Then the third characteristic relates to the leader, to you. The people must trust the leader enough to follow him or her. Again, remember what you're asking of the people when you try to help them to move. You're asking them to lose what they know and are comfortable with. You're asking them to embrace, sacrifice, risk, and potential pain, possibly even suffering. As a visionary leader, all you see is the future and opportunity, but all they see is loss, risk and challenge. So you must work hard at alignment. 
One of the primary ways in which you help to bring alignment is through effective communication. To be effective, communication must have three characteristics, clarity, passion, and credibility. First, your communication must be clear so the people understand the vision, so they know where to go. Second, your communication must be passionate to move the hearts of the people so they own the vision, so they want to go. Third, your communication must be credible so the people trust you enough to be willing to follow you along the path of change and loss and into the unknown future. Without credibility, there won't be trust. And without trust, they won't follow you in any significant movement. Please remember this model for the rest of your life. Anytime you need to communicate anything as a leader in whatever form, whether it's verbal, written, or visual communication, make sure it has all three characteristics strongly. Clarity, passion, and credibility. Then your communication will be effective. The most common sin of visionary leaders is to try to jump from direction to achievement and bypass alignment. We do it all the time if we're not careful. For us, the vision is so real, it's worth any sacrifice. So let's go, let's start moving. But if the people don't understand and own the vision, and if they don't trust you sufficiently, they won't move. This is why many of your initiatives have failed in the past. Finally, please remember that alignment is not an unchanging state that you achieve once and then can forget about. Think of the children of Israel in the wilderness under Moses' leadership. They were constantly moving in and out of alignment, weren't they? They needed constant leadership. This is the hard work of leadership constantly working with the people to help them maintain alignment so that they will move with confidence, commitment, and enthusiasm, and keep moving until the vision is fulfilled.